Okay, so now that I've got all my animation frames drawn out, I can get rid of my planning document. Let's go ahead and close that. And right now I've got all my layers turned on. I can hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard and click on the eyeball next to any of the layers to see an individual. Uh, and at this point, I'm ready to export my layers as individual files. And luckily, Photoshop has a really nice built-in option to do exactly that. So from the file menu, I'll go to export, layers to files. And I've already got a folder set up here. Uh, I'll just make sure that it's selected. So I've made an empty folder called flipbook frames. I can give this a name if I want to, uh, and then Photoshop will automatically add numbers to the end of each file. I'm gonna save out JPEGs as a relatively high quality and I can go ahead and run. And I can see as this is running, my folder is filling up with each of my individual frames. Now from here, I can print them out if I was working digitally the whole time. Obviously, if you were doing this process uh, with completely analog materials, you don't need to worry about printing. But basically what I would do is select all these files, open them up in a program like Preview or Acrobat, and go ahead and just send those right to the printer. So I've already gone ahead and printed out uh, my animation frames onto note cards. So we can see them right here. Go ahead and flip through. So you can see I ended up using uh, slightly larger uh, note cards than what was required for drawing analog, um, and that's okay. I just made sure to keep the width and height proportions the same, and then I use this nice binder clip to tie everything together. Okay, so that's an overview of this week's assignment. As always for this class, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to meet one-on-one -on -one with you, discuss any problems, uh, help you either technically troubleshoot or creatively brainstorm good solutions to your project issues.